So in our last problem in integration by parts, or rather my last podcast on integration by parts, we're going to do a rather unusual problem. And what makes this problem unusual is that while we want to use integration by parts, we need to use some substitution first to make the problem appropriate for integration by parts. So we're going to do a U substitution. And the U substitution we're going to do is setting U equal to the square root of X. Now DU therefore becomes equal to 1 over 2 root X dx. Now on the surface it appears that we've caused a problem for ourselves because du is not in the original integral. But this is a very interesting problem and is dealt with with the following trick. Since we originally set u equal to the square root of x, this is really equal to 1 over 2u du, which allows us to solve for dx. So we get 2u du equaling dx. And so what this does is it creates a problem that we can now do using integration by parts. So using the substitution, we have the integral 2u sine of u du. And while some of you may remember how to do this integral, I'll go ahead and go through the process again. Now, I'll be pulling the 2 out. Now, we are used to having u and v equaling our variables, but in this case, since I used a u substitution, maybe just to prevent any kind of confusion, I'm going to use two different letters. I'm going to use v and w. So I'm going to use v and find my dw. So the best choice, again, using our mnemonic device for dw would be sine of u du. Best choice for v would be u. I'll let you figure out what I'm going to do with the 2, but if you've seen my other podcast, you know that the 2 is probably going to step out for a moment. So dv becomes du, and w working backwards becomes negative cosine of u. And so let's see exactly what we have now. So we have that 2 times the integral u sine u. And now you can see what I did with that 2 is equal to negative u cosine of u minus the integral of negative cosine of u du. But again, as you've seen, I'd love to simplify quickly and easily. So I'll be getting rid of that negative, changing this into a plus, and we'll finish off the problem now. I do want to be careful, though, I have neglected to include my 2. So I'll just tack that on the end. I want to make sure. So what I get is negative 2u cosine of u plus 2 times the sine of u plus c as our answer. You can leave your answer in terms of u if you'd like. 
because we did set u equal to the square root of x, but if you'd like to resubstitute the square root of x back in, you certainly can.